fun. What's up today guys? Gonna talk a little bit about something. Now let me give you a hint on it first. Boyle's Law, 2200 PSI, a factor of 0.28, and we're measuring liters per minute. Can you guess what it is? Well, if you look at the title, it's probably going to tell you. We're talking about e-cylinder oxygen tanks today. So, actually going to show a special oxygen tank of Inteliox because not everybody's used to reading pressure per square inch. So, let's figure it up. Is it PSI times 0.28 divided by your liter flow equals the amount of time that it's going to last? Now, you can't remember that every time. So, let's just cut to the intro and talk about it. Not everybody can tell how long your oxygen tank is going to last by what your manometer gauge says. So in this case we're going to look and you can see this one, what are we reading? A lot about 2100 PSI or so. What does that mean when it comes to delivering oxygen? I know I have liter flow on the top that I can adjust right here. But how does that convert to this tank lasting for my patient to get to CT, get to cath lab, or get up from the ER? How long is the tank gonna last? Well, there actually is a conversion for this size tank. This is an E-cylinder, um, and the conversion for this tank is, it's a known number 0.28. So you take your PSI that you have in here, pressure per square inch, because this is a pressurized tank. Your pressure per square inch inside of here times 0.28, and then you divide that by a liter flow. Now, not everybody can do that every time you put an auction device on. So, a couple quick things that I like to just have in the back of my head when I'm using one of these. One thing that a lot of people will ask me is, how long will a full tank last on a non-rib breather? Well, if you look at the previous videos, non-rib breathers are running at 15 liters per minute. So it's gonna estimate the tank, 15 liters per minute, a full tank, we're gonna call it 2,000 PSI because, you know, if they're hydrostatically tested, they can get a 2,200 PSI, and blah, blah, blah. We learned all that stuff in RT school and how to read the tanks, which is kind of cool. So what all these little numbers on the side mean. But anyway, 2,000 PSI times 0.28 divided by 15 liters is gonna guess, I always just tell about 40 minutes. It's really about 44, 45-ish. So 40 minutes, how long it'll last on a non breather. That's not too bad, that can usually get you almost anywhere. But the thing is that we do with a lot of our tanks is we use a little bit of them, or we're using on two liters or four liters. And once it gets down to about 500 PSI, and you see how small this gauge is, so you see, it gets down to 500 PSI, it kind of has the area that's red on there. So a lot of people stop using it at that point. Well, this gets sent back to the manufacturer and they will refill it and they'll bring it back to us. Any extra oxygen there is actually lost. So we're paying for the refill, we're paying for the rental on the tank, but we lost us all this extra oxygen. Wouldn't it be so much better to be able to use a tank till it's more close to being gone or near the bottom but then also take away this whole PSI pressure per square inch thing because I'll be honest, I don't know how much in nursing school you get on how to read a manometer because there's just so much other things to, to look at. So let's go to what we have as an option. It's Inteliox. So an Inteliox tank, this is an E-cylinder also, as you can see, holds 2200 PSI. Uh, we're going to call it 2000 PSI. It's got a little different top on it. You see this top? Large handle. Okay, we still have our nice hookup here. It's our disc connection for our portable ventilator. Familiar with those? You screw that into there. You can run your portable vent through it. You can run oxygen to your BiPAP or whatever you would have there. So that's a nice option. And we also have what most people are concerned about is the nipple for. Uh, liter for oxygen flow. So, look at this. I don't see a PSI on there. I see a number that makes up maybe a lot more sense because it's 590 liters. So there's 590 liters inside this tank. 
we don't have pressure per square inch on here anymore. It makes a lot more sense to somebody who doesn't look at oxygen tanks every single day. But here is the cool part. I'm gonna show you this and I'll get a close up of it. This is what is so great for patient safety. So if I go and I show you, I've been moving the tank around a little bit. This is a smart gauge. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit here for a second. I'm gonna put my patient on three liters of oxygen. So right now it says 590. I just turned on three liters of oxygen. Watch what my tank does. So getting my patient ready, putting them on the cot, getting ready to take them down. I know that 600 liters in here is considered full. So this is really close to full. So we're running right now on the three liters. And you see what this thing did right now. I get a good angle on it. It says calc. It's calculating. It's calculating duration. So how long is this tank going to last? with that current liter flow on three liters. And you see that? 3.00, that's three hours. And there actually is a countdown going on right now too. So we have three hours this will last. That's awesome. Because there's none of that calculation in your head anymore. Let's take the same patient and let's go, let's put them on a non-rebreather. 15 liters per minute. back it up a little bit so it's not so loud. It's calculating now in 15 liters. This is really cool stuff guys. Twenty-eight minutes. That's a perfect countdown for 15 liters. If we adjust it again, it's gonna recalculate, but on 15 liters, 28 minutes till it goes empty. That makes a lot more sense than saying we're at 500 PSI. That's one super great option of Inteliox. Let me show you another thing. I like the handle a lot better personally. I think it's easier to grab a hold of than the other handles we have. But um, if you look on this one, it says currently running 415 liters. Let's turn this thing up. Correct. Now we have it at 25. If you have a high flow cannula, you could do it at that. This has built-in, shut this off so I can tell you, this has built-in alarms on it. It has two different alarms. The first alarm is going to go off when it's about 500 PSI or about a quarter of the tank left. You're going to get a couple beeps that come from it. Once you have less than 300 PSI, which we never took tanks down to that low before, you're going to get a couple more beeps, which is essentially telling you you have about 15 minutes of oxygen left to deliver. Now, isn't that nice? It actually makes sound and gives you an alert when it's getting low. So no more bringing your patient back from CAT scan or, or taking your patient from upstairs to the floor and let's say you leave them on the tank too long and it runs out. There's no alarm system. The next alarm you're gonna hear is when their pulse ox goes off. Hopefully if you have one of those on because their oxygen saturation drop. We don't want that to happen. This thing will alert you that the tank is getting low and it gives a little bit of a beat. Now, let me see if I can simulate that. So right now, cranked it to 25 just because I wanna make it go really quick. Calculating. Calculating, calculating. There you go, hear that sound? Beep, beep, one long one, one short one. That means right now you're less than, probably calculating, you're gonna be pretty low. You're gonna be less than 500 or less than 15 minutes. This is the audible alarm, and then you see you have a visual alarm of this thing blinking and not showing any time at all. You're less than 15 minutes, you need to get this tank changed. Just because 25 uses a lot of oxygen really quick. Now let's go back to standard. Okay, so if you're wondering how much oxygen you have in a tank and you're like, I don't, I didn't know that 600 is a full tank, it also gives you this little thing here at the top, just like your gas gauge. 
well kind of four look at the right angle here four out of four is full three fourths one half one quarter and zero so that little gauge at the top shows you how much how much you have left in this case you're a little over half now I want to show you an empty tank so an empty tank you're gonna see on this zero PSI zero liters and then at the top here you have a little blip of one little black line you have nothing in here now this doesn't alarm so it doesn't alarm I, the reason is so I initially was thinking why don't they make that alarm when you turn on an empty tank it doesn't because our oxygen room would probably have a bunch of tanks in there beeping almost constantly because somebody leaving on one liter on an empty tank and there'd just be a, an array of beeps. That's my guess why they didn't do that, but maybe that's not true. But it won't, it's not gonna beep when you don't turn it on, but you definitely don't have liter flow in this case. Anyway, Inteliox has got a kind of a cool wrap on the tank also. Um, this is from Air Gas Healthcare. That's who we're purchasing these from. Uh, we're gonna go system wide with this, so we're really excited about the patient safety aspect that comes with it. And then also there's gonna be a little bit, maybe, maybe break even on the cost savings because you pay a little more for these. We're gonna be using all or nearly all the oxygen out of them. So it's a much better system for somebody who doesn't pick up an oxygen tank each day and know how to read a pressure manometer because pressure manometers, like I said, for one, they're super small and they just don't make a lot of sense for people who don't do them every day. So this is our current tank, our walkabout tank. And Teleox will be here soon. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something from this. Like, subscribe, comment in, and uh, I'll keep pumping out these videos. I'll see ya.